All right, so today we're making, or well, right now, we're, we're making a dill remoulade sauce. Remoulade sauce is similar to tartar sauce. It's not the same, even though people try to put them in the same category, it's not. Um, tartar sauce um, basically is primarily mayonnaise with a few things in it, right? This remoulade sauce normally has a lot more ingredients, right? Um, it doesn't, um, the, the, the boss is not the mayo, right? And sometimes you can add, you know, tomatoes to it. Um, it's just a little French cold sauce that works well with, with steak, poultry, vegetables, seafood, especially fried seafood. Uh, I know you're going to enjoy it. Let me sample some. You know, got to get my uh, tasting chopsticks out. Well, here it is. A little taste. Oh, tangy. It reminds you a little bit of tartar sauce, but it's not tartar sauce. So remember that. It is not tartar sauce. Tartar sauce and remoulade sauce are two different things. So let's make it. Hey, this is Charles Chirac. That's the best elevated music I ever heard. Okay, so for this recipe, pretty simple. Need some scallions, green onions, Italian parsley, some dill, um, some pickles. Uh, you could use sweet. I'm using dill pickles. Um, you could use the you know the cornichons, but it goes like this. If you just want to have a sweet taste, use a little sweet pickles. If you want it to have a little tang to it, use cornichons. They're like little French pickles. Um, they're like a mild dill pickle. But if you want the full flavor of the dill, just get small dill pickles. Okay, we have some salt. About a teaspoon of salt. About two teaspoons of pepper. We got about three tablespoons of lemon juice and about two tablespoons of capers okay we're going to need some Dijon mustard um, you're probably going to use about a good tablespoon of Dijon mustard so I have Dijon mustard and of course the start of the show is mayonnaise you gotta have some mayonnaise all right so let's get this okay, together so the first thing we want to work on is our mayonnaise so for the first part of the mayonnaise we want to put about a half a cup, All right? About a half a cup in, and we're not done with the mayonnaise. We're going to use it. We're going to use more here in a minute. Okay. Add your salt, All right? Your pepper, and just about half of the lemon juice. Just half of the lemon juice. Okay. And now, we're going to chop up some scallions. Chop up some of the scallions here. And chopped up, and we're going to save some because we're going to be blending, you see? So we got a little bit of scallions into the mayo mixture. And we're going to take about a quarter of the parsley and we're going to chop this up, right? Let's get it nice and chopped up. Now it doesn't have to be a fine chop. A rough chop is fine because the rest of it, we're going to blend it. And there's a reason why I'm blending it and I'll cover that here in a minute, right? And this goes in to the mayo mixture. Same with our dill. We're gonna take probably about a quarter of the dill, chop it up, you know, the uh, stems and all. Just chop it up. 
in, right? Just that simple. And then the pickles, you know, cut them in half and then chop them up, right? And pay attention to the size, you know, because you want them kind of small, you know. So then we're going to be chopping up about half of the pickles and we'll be blending up the rest. Okay. Now we're going to add, let's see, we're done with this. Now to this, we're going to add our Dijon mustard. Dijon mustard. Now let's get this mixed up. Okay, let's get this all mixed up. Mix it up. Okay, looks nice. Okay, now let's bring now out actually, the blender. We, before we do the blender, let me put some of these capers in here. So I want some to be, you know, somewhat whole. And we're going to blend the rest. All right, get that mixed in. All right, now to the blender. We're going to add about a quarter of a cup of mayonnaise. You can use any mayonnaise you want. All right. Add our remaining lemon juice. Our capers. Those in there. Our scallions. Our parsley. Get that in there nice. Our dill. There you can smell the dill. It's nice. And our pickles. These in there. And now we're going to blend these all up. Do a little pulse at first. Now we're going to puree it. Okay, we're going to stop that. Get a spatula, scrape it down. Yep, looks good. Smells good. Okay. Continue with the puree. All right, now we're going to add this to the bowl. All right, so I'll add the blended to it. It's going to give it that slight green color because of the parsley and the dill that was blended. Let's get that all out of there. Now we're going to put this in a container and put it in the fridge. Just time to use it. All right, it. so let's pour this in. This will make a nice sauce. Even a dressing. Let's get all this in here. All right, and there we have it. A little serving of the remoulade sauce, the dill remoulade sauce. It's going to be delicious. This is going to go well on vegetables, steak, chicken, you know, fried fish. Good to go.